Okay, we're going to take a look at the Beat Shifter, which is a six channel generative step sequencer in Sonic Cure's Concrete. Here are six channels running horizontally, and you can see the 16 steps here. Um, you can select the sample, any sample in the kit from this drop down here, uh, or you can scroll left or right. We're going to start though with a simple 4 4 kick pattern it should make it quite easy to demonstrate what the beat shifter does. Okay, there are kick drums, you can adjust velocity like this, and off we go. Okay, that's fine. Now we're going to jump right in and uh, talk about the, the way that the beat shifter generates moving or shifting patterns. On the next track here, we've got, uh, I've selected a bass kick sound. If I put that on the offbeat here between the bars, you can hear that. Now what I need to do is to def define the step size. Now that's the size of the steps in which it's going to move. So I'm going to pick four. That means it's going to jump in between the kick drums. It's going to preserve the rhythmic pattern we set it in. Now if I move the travel slider, we should start to see it jump. There we go. You can see it jumping around, but it's preserving the rhythmic pattern that we set for it. Now if I, I've got a velocity slider here again, if I move this, it will uh, vary the velocity of the hit each time it moves. An extreme setting. There we go. Okay. Now hopefully you get the idea there. We're going to now take it further and we're going to um, put a, a hi-hat pattern in. I'm going to put that uh, on the beat here. And I've got an open hat on the next sequencer channel here. I'm going to put in a couple of those. Uh, a few more hi-hats. Okay, let's have a listen. Okay, I can now set our open hat to jump around a bit. I'm going to set the step size to two. That means it will jump to alternate slots on the on the sequencer. So you can hear our pattern start to evolve. You can also get the closed hat to move around a little bit. Again, let's set it to two. Oh, no, let's set this one to four to retain a bit of rhythmic integrity. So you can hear this is quite interesting. We've got a beat that's uh, that's changing on every on every bar. It's not staying the same. It's uh, it's good fun. Right now, uh, the next sound I've selected is a kind of squelchy lead type sound, and that's where you can you can have a lot of fun with the beat shifter because you can just be really random and just kind of paint them in here with varying velocity, a few gaps. Um, uh, let's see how that sounds. Sounds pretty good. Let's just uh, reduce the amount that these are jumping around, or it might get a little confusing. Okay, now let's set this squelchy sound to start jumping about a bit. Let's do it in twos. Set the velocity. Now the direction slider, that, that means if I take it all the way to the right, they will only jump to the right. I think that's pretty interesting. That each channel has got a tune and a level control, so we could um, reduce the level of that in the mix. Or the tuning. Okay, now the final function that the beat shifter has, the final cool trick, is that you can trigger the 
glitch module on the on the main instrument with it. The glitch module creates little drilling repeats uh, on a drum hit, and um, you can set this channel, channel six, to do that. So if we set up a few. And we go back to our hi-hat sound, select our hi-hat sound here. And we turn glitch on, and we select it, I don't know, 64 speed. Let's see how the hi-hat sound now responds to that. Okay, you can hear it drilling away if I mute it. Change the decay sound, so it's slightly more subtle there. Okay, that's fine. Now again, we can get these glitch triggers. Remember, these aren't notes, they're not making any sound, they're just triggering the drilling of the hi-hat there. So if we set those to travel... Then we're going to get a kind of random response on our hi-hat. It's not going to drill every time. Try that on our squelchy sound too. If I can find it in the list there, there it is, Sabre. That sounds pretty good. Change the speed. Also, if you hear something you like when you're using the beat shifter, we've got our pattern evolving away here. Okay, I decide I really, really like it now. Hit the freeze button, all the travel sliders go to zero, and it all stops moving. Then you have options to either store it within the preset, or also you could save the pattern to disk. There we go. So um, there's a lot of options there to build up favorite patterns, load them with different kits, that kind of thing. Okay, hopefully that gives you some ideas and uh, explains what the Beat Shifter does and uh, what you might be able to create with it.